Hey everybody, I'm back again today with another ammo test. Today we have some ammunition from Prime Ammunition. This is their 124 grain match hexagon ammo. Has kind of a jacketed hollow point style bullet in it. We have four barrel lengths today. We have a 3.6 inch, which is new. Our 4.95 inch, our 7.72, and we also have a 16 inch barrel to do for the test today. It's about 40 degrees, and it keeps going back and forth between raining and raining, so hopefully the chronograph will work. 10 feet, pro chrono pal chrono as always. Up first is our 3.6 inch barrel. This is an FNS 9C. Nine ninety four, one thousand four, nine ninety two, nine seventy five, nine seventy three. Now the four point nine five inch barrel. Ten sixty. 10, 91, air, 10, 77, 11, 26. Now our 7.72 inch barrel. 11, 87. 1235, 1239, 1209, 1226. And our high point carbine. This has a 16 inch barrel. 1236. 1204, 1224, 1231, 1235. So as part of the testing for this round, because it is like a jacketed hollow point, we are going to take a shot with it against 10% ballistics gel. We're gonna use the 16 inch high point carbine barrel for this test. We'll be at 10 feet and we'll try to get a chronograph reading. Velocity was 1,152 feet per second. So here was our penetration. That BB is our control. We were right at three inches there. We have a complete pass through of this block, unfortunately. There's pretty good temporary cavity starting at the six inch mark, extending through the 14 inch mark. That's pretty good. Normally you see that a lot earlier on. You can see some of that denim dragging through there. We didn't have any uh, water jugs today. All we have is frozen ice jugs. The bullet is in the first jug, about four inches in. We'll uh, dig it out here. So here is our recovered round. Like I said, we found it about four inches into the ice jug, so it still had a good amount of penetration ability after passing through this entire 16 inch block. There's just a little denim inside that tip. I don't think it was going to expand anyways. Like I said, these are more designed to be match grade ammo. So overall this is some pretty good ammunition. We got good velocity out of it from the 3.6 inch all the way up to the 16 inch barrel. I'm starting to notice with most all 9mm loads that I've been testing 
that really past the 8 to 10 inch mark barrel length, we're not really gaining a whole lot. I have been reading that there are some ammo manufacturers that are coming out with some optimized load for longer barrels like the 16 inch off to see maybe if we can get our hands on it and check the velocity of it. We didn't get any expansion out of this round, but then again, it's a match grade bullet designed for accuracy and expansion was just a test of ours to see if it would do it or not. This ammunition is made in Hungary by Ruag, R-U-A-G, Ammo Tech. I came across a post from Molan on AR15.com where he was testing the Gico or Gecko 9mm hexagon and I'm pretty sure this is the exact same load box for a different reseller. He got pretty good accuracy out of it. Obviously he can test the accuracy a lot better than I can because he has a lot nicer equipment. I may want to look into getting a gun vise or something that I can lock a gun down in on a bench a lot better take myself or my father or my wife out of the equation when it comes to testing accuracy because I mean, at this point I can only give you practical accuracy and most of these rounds will easily outshoot me and my impatience. Thanks again Prime Ammunition for sending this box of ammunition to evaluate and until next time thanks again for watching everybody.